Hey guys, welcome to our channel. This is Outrun DYC. Meron tayong bagong IA Unbox today. So yesterday, binili ko to from a, sell, a local seller here in the Philippines. So yesterday, naghahanap ako ng SSD drive, yung napakabilis na SSD drive na makikita ko sa market. And upon checking sa FB market, uh, meron akong mga nakita doon. And also, nag-check ako sa carousel. There's one seller na sumagot doon sa query ko. Siya na yung uh, kinausap ko. So yun, nagpapasalamat ako kay Sir Aaron Paolo. Siya yung nagbenta uh, sa akin ito. And talaga naman, napakabilis niyang uh, i-process yung, yung transaction. So sir, thank you so much. Ang uh, shop nila is madatagpuan nyo sa Carousel. I-search nyo sa website ng Carousel. I-type nyo lang, Demands on to go. Eh, matatagpaan niya yung uh, shop ni Mr. Aaron Esponia. Alright, so here it is. Ito yung nahanap ko. Ito yung nabili ko. This is the Extreme Pro ng SanDisk. So, ang sabi dito, ang claim ng SanDisk, meron siyang speed na up to 2,000 MBS. So, ito yung nahanap ko. I-prepare ko to sa M1 MacBook Pro. So, hopefully, Yung speed na to, ito yung makuha natin. Ang storage size pala nito is 1 terabyte. Alright, so let's do it. Let's do the unboxing. Alright guys, so ito na yung SanDisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD. So nandito na, buksan na natin siya. Parang kailangan ko ng kuchilyo. Sandali na. Alright guys, pasensya na kayo dito sa gunting ko. Ha. Medyo low class. <laughs> But anyway, sige na, buksan na natin to. Alright. Okay guys, so here it is. Uh, ito yung mismo SSD drive. So, lagay natin dito. So, ano pang mga kasama niya? Ano naman pa dito? Itong mga cables. Ito yung USB 3.0 or 3.2 siguro to USB. So, yan ang kasama niya. And another cable. Wow! So, dalawa yung cables na kasama. Ito namang isa is the USB-C to USB-C. Ayan. So, yan yung mga laman. Alright. So, and lastly, ang laman ng box, yung natitira is yung warranty guide. Ayan. So, ito yung laman ng box ng Sandisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD. So, napansin ko dito, itong uh, SSD na to, yung pinaka-top nitong SSD drive, parang plastic siya. And then, uh, right here naman, dito, meron, meron siyang parang key ring. So, this side na to, uh, meron siyang metal part, yung kulay orange. I think this is for... Uh, heat dissipation and yung likod naman niya is para siyang silicon so nice feeling nice touch um, overall I think um, it's pretty well built and then yung socket niya or yung saksakin niya mismo is right here and dito yung uh, USB-C socket overall I think uh, yung design yung size niya yung portability ito napakaliit lang niya so Kahit sa bulsa ko lang, pwede ko na ilagay ito eh. So, bakit ko binili ito? Bakit uh, SanDisk? 
Sandisk is a well-known brand and also given the the speed na ino-offer niya, gusto kong itry try yon. Gusto kong makita yung speed na to. Yung mga files ko for Final Cut Pro, dito ko siya ita transfer. So pag nag edit ako, madali lang yung rendering time. So yung speed ng SSD drive plays a big factor para ma-speed up yung uh, workflow ko sa Final Cut Pro. If the computer is fast, the SSD is fast, mas madadali yung workflow ko. So I can't wait na na matest ito and um, gusto ko magran ng speed test gamitin ko yung Black Magic Disk Test para makita natin kung talaga ma-achieve natin itong up to 2000 speed nito. So yung last na ginagamit kong SSD is X8 ng Crucial and okay naman siya yung read speed nasa up to 700 something pero yung write speed uh, dun na nagkakatalo napaka bagal uh, umaabot lang siya up to 150 so yung write speed yun yung hinahanap ko na dapat mas mataas at least magkapareha sila ng read speed when copying files transferring files lahat ng yan, rendering making videos, editing, lahat niyan. Mapapadali ng lahat kung uh, mabilis yung SSD nyo. Really, I can't uh, I can't wait na maisaksak ko na to sa ma-plug in ko na to sa M1 MacBook Pro ko and ma-check ko yung speed. So, tara guys, I'm gonna bring my laptop here and we're gonna check and run tests. Alright guys, so here it is. Ito yung cable na gagamitin natin. And sasaksak na natin siya sa SSD drive. So, let's see. And nag-show up naman siya agad dito sa ating uh, desktop. So now, what I'm gonna do is put ako sa launch pad and then irarun natin yung black magic disk speed punta muna tayo sa settings and then select natin yung target drive pipiliin natin ngayon is yung extreme pro and click open so eto na yung disk speed test and i will hit start na para makita natin yung speed nitong sandisk extreme pro portable ssd so click start whoa wait a minute ah ah guys very shocking to so yung uh, claim yan na 2000 up to 2000 mbs is nowhere to be found Kasi ang nakukuha ko sa write speed is eto guys. 701. Ngayon, 717 sa write speed. Ngayon naman, sa read speed, medyo higher lang siya ng 100 points. 800 MBS. Wow! Alright guys, so it's a bummer. So, okay, I'm gonna do a little uh, research here kung bakit ganito and I will explain to you guys kung bakit uh, hindi niya na re reach yung uh, 2000 up to 2000 claim ng SanDisk na dapat na speed niya. So guys, madami na akong binasa na thread, na forum and uh, medyo little confusing. Ang alam ko, Itong M1 MacBook Pro has a Thunderbolt 3 Pero hindi niya na-achieve nga yung speed na sinasabi nitong uh, SSD na to So but anyways, uh, future proof na to Baka sa mga susunod ng mga updates uh, Maayos yung, uh, yung nag-hinder dun sa speed nitong uh, SanDisk uh, Extreme Pro na SSD drive 
para ma-achieve natin yung uh, 2,000 uh, MBS na speed. Ang sabi ng iba, gumamit ako ng enclosure, but etong sandis may sarili na siyang enclosure. So, I don't think I'm gonna open this kasi ma-break natin yung warranty. Although, I can, pero I'm not gonna do that. Kasi right now yung speed naman na nakukuha ko is a lot better than the previous SSD na ginamit ko, yung X8 ng Crucial. Ito naman sa Sandisk, uh, averaging siya, yung speed niya, right speed is around 700. So napakataas nun compared dun sa 150. And read speed naman ito, umaabot ng 800 to 900, which is also a lot better than the previous X8. So I think okay na to. For now, mag-wait na lang ako until there's such time na may update and i-update natin tong M1 MacBook Pro at uh, maging maayos and so ma-achieve natin yung speed na ino-offer nitong Extreme Pro ng Sandisk, itong portable SSD drive na to. Other thing, uh, yung X8 medyo yun umiinit pag ginagamit ko. Especially pag nag ako ng test. But this one, I'm quite surprised dun sa cooling system nitong Sandisk SSD na to. Uh, hindi siya mainit na mainit. It's just warm. So, I mean, I'm satisfied na rin. Napalitan natin yung X8 kasi that's the only thing I'm worried about is pag uh, sobrang umiinit siya. Again, maraming salamat kay Mr. Aaron Paolo sa pag-assist niya sa akin sa aking order. Uh, I-check nyo guys sa uh, carousel.ph yung store niya. Type nyo lang, demands on to go. Yun yung pangalan ng store nila. Yeah, taking these chances. They wouldn't give me the answers, so I gotta go out and get it. I'ma hold them off for ransom. This how I planned it. Did it right here where I'm standing. Came from the mud, they counted us out. Now we standing on the planet. They don't know just what to do with me. Promise this is nothing new to me. If you came in here to ruin me, hope you writing not a eulogy. I was tailor made beautifully. You can never find two of me. <laughs> Look how I'm shining. Cold turning. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to po sa aming channel. And make sure the notification bell is on. Et po si Outrun DYC and kita kits po tayo. Peace!